Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Dear friends, today we are going to talk about semi-consonants or we can say semi-vowels. As I have categorized this alphabet or letters into three groups. One is known as vowel, other is known as consonants and other third category is known as semi-consonants or semi vowels okay so as the name indicates semi means half and again semi means half so these two letters are sometimes referred to as consonants and sometimes referred to as vowels so that is why they are called semi-consonants and semi vowels i have written here few examples where W is considered as consonant. Okay, let's take example of well. I have written the phonetic symbols of it under the word so that you can, you can find it easier uh, whether it is a vowel sound or consonant sound. Well. So well W has a sound W. W here. So W in phonetics is considered as consonant sound okay we have another example dwell here again we have w and w has got again a sound w and w in phonetics in study of sounds w is considered as consonant let's have another look where w is vowel okay so when w is with a for example draw draw it has got two pronunciations one is draw and other is draw it is a bit longer and this is a bit shorter okay we have this aw has got pronunciation o and this o in phonetics is considered as vowel okay and this o is again considered as vowel sound so here in draw, A, W or W we can say it has got a sound that very sound is there acting as vowel. Okay. Okay. When W is with E, F, E, W. Okay. I have written here phonetic symbol of it, Hu. So here W has taken the sound of U. And this U is considered in phonetics, in phonetics it is considered as vowel sound. Okay. When W is in combination with O, for example, we have love, L-O-W. Okay. It has uh, got again pronunciation O. O is again a vowel sound considered in phonetics. Okay, hope you may have understood this that where W is considered as consonant and where W is considered as vowel. Okay, let us now concentrate on Y. Where Y is considered as consonant and where Y is considered as vowel. Okay, let us take example of beyond. Okay, beyond. Y has got a pronunciation of Y. And Y in phonetics is considered as, as consonant sound hope you are understanding the again i have written i have written uh, another example as young and this y has got a sound of y and this y in phonetics is considered as consonant sound let's have in contrast with this consonant sound, we have some words where Y acts as vowel sound. For example, we have H-Y-M-N. This is pronounced as him. And this Y has got sound, E. And this E is considered as vowel sound in phonetics. And we have another example of G-Y-M. And this Y has got, this Y has got a sound I. I here, the, in this word, it has got 
E sound and this E in phonetics is considered as vowel sound. And we have another example of synonym. Most of the people mispronounce it as synonym or something else but this is not synonym or something else that you are pronouncing. It is actually, I have written the pronunciation of it. It is synonym. Synonym. Okay. Uh, so I have to tell you here that this Y and this Y, these two Y's have got a sound E which in phonetics, in study of sound is, is considered as vowel sound. Hope you may have understood why W and Y are considered as semi-consonants or semi vowels I hope that you must have understood this topic why W and Y are called semi vowels or semi-consonants. If you haven't understood, this means you are weak at phonetics. What does that phonetics mean? Inshallah, my next video is going on this topic. Yes, phonetics. Dear friends, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe it and keep watching. Thanks.